Over the years, the relationship between China and the US has become a battleground for technological supremacy in the automotive industry. As superpowers V for dominance, their rivalry has now spilled over into the realm of electric vehicles. Who will come out on top and who has the better long-term strategy? Well, in this video, we delve into some of the latest developments in battery technology. The lithium-ion manganese phosphate battery that is set to disrupt the automotive world. China and the US are in a fierce battle to assert their dominance within the automotive industry, with one of the key pieces to long-term success, the supply of electric vehicle batteries. The significance of EV batteries obviously cannot be understated. They are the lifeblood of electric vehicles, dictating their range, performance and overall appeal to consumers. As the world shifts towards greener energy sources, the winner of the battery war will wield tremendous influence over the EV market, shaping the future of mobility and impacting the global transition to sustainable transportation. China, with its state-supported enterprises, collectively known as China Inc., has been making relentless strides to dominate every aspect of battery development. Starting in 2015, with the National Key Research and Development Program, China's new Energy Vehicle Key Special Implementation Plan, the country aimed to secure control over crucial battery materials like lithium, cobalt and nickel. This involved heavy investments in mining and battery manufacturing, leading to China Inc. accounting for a staggering 80% of the world's output for battery materials by 2019. Previously, the Chinese value chain would end at the refining stage, with refined materials being exported to the US or Europe for battery manufacturing. However, the situation has evolved, and Beijing is now aiming to handle this entire process in-house. Chinese-owned refineries now process the minerals, transforming them for use in battery production, allowing them to exert great control over the entire supply chain. At the forefront of China's battery dominance efforts is Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited, a giant in the battery manufacturing industry. With around 32% of the global market share for electric vehicle batteries and half of China's domestic market, Cattle supplies batteries to prominent automakers worldwide, including Tesla, Toyota, Toyota and Daimler. Cattle's collaboration with Ford on a new battery plant in Michigan demonstrates the company's global ambitions. BYD, another Chinese company, stands as the second major player in the Chinese battery manufacturing battle. As a top-selling car company in China, BYD has captured just over 13% of the global market share for EV batteries. Its BYD Song Plus, a versatile vehicle offering both electric and combustion engine versions at an affordable price of below $30,000, has contributed significantly to its success. And that's where LIFMP, the latest battery from China, comes in into play. In recent years, the difficulty to provide lithium-ion batteries at a scalable rate for the EV industry has led scientists and researchers being hard at work developing the next generation of energy storage solutions. Among these innovations, the lithium-ion manganese phosphate battery, or as we'll just call it, the manganese phosphate battery, has emerged as a promising contender in the race to power future EVs. The seeds of this innovation were sown in the early 1990s by a dedicated team of researchers at the University of California, San Diego. By the early 2000s, the first commercial manganese phosphate batteries hit the market, setting the stage for their rapid rise in popularity. Today, manganese phosphate batteries find themselves at the forefront of multiple applications, from powering electric vehicles and making our power tools more efficient to supporting critical medical devices. Manganese phosphate batteries are a specialized type of lithium-ion battery, featuring a lithium-ion manganese phosphate cathode and graphite anode. The cathode is a scientific breakthrough with the combination of lithium, iron, manganese and phosphate ions working together to create a robust and reliable energy storage unit. On the other hand, the graphite anode, made up of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice, ensures efficient energy transfer during charge and discharge cycles. Now, what sets manganese phosphate batteries apart from other battery types? They have a higher energy density, allowing them to store a substantial amount of energy within a compact space. This advantage is a real game changer, especially in the world of electric vehicles where maximizing energy storage is crucial for extending driving ranges and enhanced performance. Manganese phosphate batteries are also exceptionally stable, ensuring a long cycle life, meaning you can recharge and discharge them many times without worrying about significant capacity loss. This remarkable durability translates to longevity, saving you time and money on battery replacements over the years. What's more, manganese phosphate batteries prioritize safety, alleviating concerns that have plagued some other 
other lithium-ion battery types. With a reduced fire risk, users can rest assured knowing they have a reliable, secure energy source at their fingertips. Extreme conditions? Well, no problem. Manganese phosphate batteries can handle heat, cold and everything in between. With their wide temperature range, they're built to perform even when the going gets tough. You can trust them to power through whatever Mother Nature throws their way. Manganese phosphate batteries are often less expensive than lithium-ion batteries thanks to the cost-effective cathode compound. So not only do you get top-notch performance, but you also get it at a pocket-friendly price. And now the drawbacks. Lower voltage. Manganese phosphate batteries have a lower voltage than traditional lithium-ion batteries, which means that they produce less power. This can be a disadvantage in applications where high power is required, such as electric vehicles. Lower energy density at extremely higher temperatures. The energy density of the manganese phosphate batteries decreases at high temperatures. This means that they will not perform as well in hot weather. Slower charging speed. Manganese phosphate batteries typically charge more slowly than traditional lithium-ion batteries. This can be a disadvantage in applications where fast charging is required. Now, there are a number of other EV batteries from China that are being developed to replace lithium-ion batteries. Some of the most promising include sodium-ion batteries. Sodium-ion batteries use sodium as the main electrode material instead of lithium. This makes them more abundant and less expensive than lithium-ion batteries. They also have a higher energy density than lithium-ion batteries. However, sodium-ion batteries are still in development and they are not yet commercially available. Next, solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid electrolyte used in traditional lithium-ion batteries, and this makes them safer and more stable, and they can offer a higher energy density. However, solid-state batteries are still in development, and they are not yet commercially available. Graphene batteries. These use graphene, a type of carbon, as the anode material. Graphene is very lightweight and has a high electrical conductivity, which makes it a promising material for battery electrodes. Graphene batteries can offer a higher energy density and faster charging times than traditional lithium-ion batteries. However, graphene batteries are still in development and once again are not yet commercially available. For the US to get its fair share of the pizza in the fierce battery market battle, they've got their work cut out, but the opportunities are still on the horizon. China's approach to the battery market may be seen as clumsy by some analysts, leaving room for American firms to catch up. However, Beijing's efforts to increase the supply of battery materials could lead to cheaper battery manufacturing in the coming years. But here's the catch. While a potential battery supply glut may be looming in the future, it doesn't address the immediate needs for US car makers, who are currently heavily reliant on China for battery supply. US battery makers are not projected to turn a profit until at least 2030, which means American auto manufacturers still need those Chinese batteries to ramp up their ambitious EV plans. Take Tesla for example, the EV giant with dreams of manufacturing 20 million cars annually by 2030. They're depending on China's cost-effective batteries and manufacturing infrastructure to achieve this audacious goal, but the deteriorating US-China relationship might create challenges for American companies like Tesla, making it tougher for them to do business in China. In the short term, China Battery Inc. is expected to maintain its dominance in the mobility space, while the US might shine in the revolutionary developments over the next five to seven years. The race for battery dominance is a complete tussle, involving conflicting incentives and allegiances, with the US government pushing back against China's grip on the EV market. While China currently leads the battery contest, there's still time for the US and its allies to catch up and turn the tide in this ongoing race. So what's your take on the future of manganese phosphate batteries in the US-China rivalry? Well, let us know in the comments and hit subscribe for more electrifying updates on the automotive industry. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.